After seven months of virtual isolation, Christmas is set to come early for the good folk of Coromandel. Waka Kotahi has managed to fast-track the construction of the Taparahi Bridge, which means months of lengthy detours, detours are nearly over. Regional Transport Manager Joe Wilton's with us this morning. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Um, hopefully we're going to show people some footage of the work that you have been able to do. How did you get it done, or how are you getting it done so quickly? Uh, a lot of planning, a lot of hard work, and everyone having one common goal, which was get that road open as quickly as we can. OK, so it's three months ahead of schedule and, and also under budget. What do you put that down to? Was it, was it a rushed kind of um, business case to begin with and perhaps cause, because of the, the flooding, obviously, because of the Gabrielle event and perhaps could have been more accurate? Or, or what do you put that down to? Uh, I think um, the fact that we're, it was definitely a fast track project. We certainly, once we had the slip, we were just looking at it going, well, how do we fix this and what is the quickest way we can fix this, which lent us towards being the bridge. Um, we were very lucky that we, um, picking the bridge option means we were in our road corridor, so we didn't need to acquire land off any of our neighbours. Um, the emergency provisions of the RMA Act applied, so that meant that consenting uh, could be done in conjunction with the work actually progressing. And then picking a team uh, that had the resources, the capability to just get in there and get the work done. Um, I mean, the other sorts of things we've done is uh, use a design that's been used on another one of our projects that's the same length and modify it to suit. So instead of reiterating a design, it's using what we've got, taking a look at what materials we have in, in the country and going, let's use those instead of optimising the design to make it more efficient. We're just using what we've got so we can get it done quicker. What's different about this bridge? And, you know, if we had another Gabriel-sized event... Would we see a similar problem here? At this location? Yes. No. No, I do not believe we would. So we've, as well as building the bridge to connect the road instead of filling in the hole, so we've built the bridge to bridge the, the gaping hole that we've got, but the bank above the bridge, we've done over 100 soil nails in the wall to stabilise it. There's mesh down it to stop it fretting, and we've invested extensively in the drainage to take all the water around the bridge site and take it down into the valley. OK. Did you say soil nails? What are they? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of how I can how I can describe <laughs> them to you. So um, the soil nails we've used on the site, they vary between 6 metres and 12 metres long, and it's basically it is like a nail that you're driving into wood, except you drill these into the bank and then grout them. Wow. OK, well, this is sounding very impressive. And not often we have Waka Kotahi on to talk about early and under budget. So you've got everyone's attention, Joe. Uh, maybe we can have you to go and build every other road that, and bridge that needs to be built in the country. Can you tell us, for those, for those who are wanting to head on a holiday this summer, for those who are in Coromandel, what date will it be open? You know, is it going to be slow to begin with, stop-start traffic? What, what are you expecting? Uh, so we are planning on opening on uh, by the 20th of December. It will be open to two-way traffic. Uh, we are planning... Um, it, we won't have traffic management out on the road per se for the holidays and the peak periods, but there will be, come the end, sort of end of January, we will be starting to put traffic management back out, but not closing the road, but just so we can access underneath the bridge and finish off some of the, the final works like planting that bank and tidying it up so that it looks amazing. Um, yeah, and that will be done at non-peak times. Oh, excellent. So for anyone travelling Christmas, New Year this year along that road, it'll be open both ways and there'll be no traffic management for that period during, you know, during daytime. We do ask everyone to take care and please drive safely, of course, at Christmas time, though. But we do hope, welcome everyone back to the Coromandel to support that economy. Brilliant. Joe. thank you very much for that. I'm sure they're very appreciative. Waka Kultahi Regional Transport Manager Joe Wilton with us this morning at 13 after 7.